there you are. Her. There we go. And that's Start just the sediment, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Might need to come back with oh, that's a nice picture. Just it doesn't look rocky at all, though. No, look no, at the view from Adelaide. There's lots of sand. The, the patterns of the current. Yeah. There. Yeah. The ripples. Okay, so what's our direction of travel? All right. Um, it's a great shot of oh, Adelaide. Can you get back down so we can do our color Thank correction? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, we got some stuff to do before we do that. Pretty strong. It looks like there might be um, little dots in the sediment. Is that the little rocks? Are those rocks? Think think so. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, and we'll keep our eye out for if we see any fields of small rocks. If we do, we will likely take a scoop. Beautiful oh, shot from it, yeah. Atalanta, though, right? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> I do like to take those pictures. I have a bunch of them, actually. Nice. Aww. Okay. Um, so what needs to happen? Can you rack in the uh, cam? It's all the way in. Uh, it isn't? It is. Oh, the porch isn't out, I guess? No, the porch is all the way in, too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um... And then uh, I guess we can get, uh, you need to get the craft going, and then there's like a color correction thing. Oh, it's on the, on the it's forearm? Up there. Yeah, huh. the forearm of the craft. Okay. You can also, it doesn't have to be um, directly straight. You can also move the cam to be closer to the, uh, to look more at the. I'll oh, ask later, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's for your, that's lumbar support. Oh, there's lumbar support yeah. with the little pump thing yep. here? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> bougie. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you want, you can also move the, the cam yeah, so you don't have to, to move it all the way over. But, uh, okay, that's weird. You can move it down and over. Okay, let's uh, do it to hydraulics. Nope. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Set that up here if you want. Craft power on. All Just right. wait for comms. So we have a question in the chat wondering why we have two ROVs in the same area. And I know our pilots are busy um, getting everything calibrated. Did anybody want to answer that question? Uh, why do we have two ROVs right now? Mm -hmm. uh, well, one ROV is the actual one that does things, which is HERC, which is the one that goes out there, collects all the samples, does all the, like, you know, the grunt work. Argus slash Atalanta, uh, which this is Atalanta, is uh, more of a supervisor. <laughs> uh, just kind of watches, makes sure everything's safe, but it also acts as like a mediator. A mediator from like the wave. It takes the, the 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 swell of the waves. So as we go up and down over here at the boat, uh, Atalanta takes takes those uh, swells, <laughs> those ups and, and the waves and stuff like that, allowing for steady steady video for Herc. So Atalanta moves around, but Hercules stays pretty steady. Uh, it, it allows it to be steady. Yeah. Herc kind of has like, uh, like full range of motion, 3D motion. Atalanta does not. I can only usually kind of just go up and down with the winch, and then uh, turn around. And Atalanta, they call the tow sled, right? Are um, uh, are all the uh, lights on? I'm gonna turn the light on right now. Yeah, let's have the porch lights on. The yeah. lasers off. Please. There you go. And then try to get the white centered. Careful the camera. And then just kind of lock it whenever you're ready. Is that okay? No. Uh, it needs you to, be need to bring centered. the white patch down and into the center of the screen center. by either panning and tilting the camera. You yeah. can't bring over the uh, the arm anymore. So okay. we're going to do that. Yep. There you go. That should be good. We got a scratch. I'll do a black balance first, so it will go dark. Let's, let's make sure we're centered on the patch first. Let's zoom all the way in. It's as far as in, far in as you can. Fill the oh. screen. Okay. okay. Sorry, it's all me. the way in. We'll need to either move the arm closer or uh, rack the camera out right. or something to fill the screen with the white patch. 
Oh, you need the whole thing completely white? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Are you zoomed in all the way, Panos? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm all the way in. All right. Time for a new piece of tape. Yeah. It's right between... Uh, come on, a little bit down. There we go. There you go. Yeah, can you, uh, yes, yeah, thank you. That makes me feel better. Lots of, lots of space, eh? Yeah. Unless I can't pan out anymore. I think that's as far as it'll go. Uh, as far as it'll go? Okay. Uh, if you need to, I can put the, oh, there we go. There you now go. Now we're right talking. Right there. That'll do. Okay. Okay. Black balance first. Yeah. Herc's going to black. Here we go. Remember that uh, that camera, huh? <laughs> the camera is there. There's no, forget I see about it. that. I see it. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll do it. Open, open your iris a little bit more, please. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, 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 more. Good, right there. Thank you. White balance. Okay, now save it. Just hold down the button for one until it goes beep. Usually I have to take one ear off on my uh, headset so I can hear it go beep, but it flashed, so should be okay. Yeah, it says. Okay, zoom out wide, white balance is done. Thank you very much. Same, guys. Thank you. Need anything else with the arm? Can I put it away? Uh, you should be good, yeah. Yeah, can you zoom out all the way, please? Or not. Also fine. Yeah, it is all the way out. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry. I want to assume that it's in there. But it's in yes, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's in there. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, it's either the main, I guess. Good night. Yeah, can, we, can you go to the other side, actually? Oh, you want to see? There was one on the, um, yeah, that res. I yeah. Wanna, I want to I wanna make a note of what that is, and I want to monitor it. So while we're flying around this area with there's not a lot of rocks and stuff, I don't need the, the down looking on the cameras. I'm not worried about hitting them on anything. Uh, I, I want to take a hard look at that gauge as we oh move my gosh, forward I hate the, in the I next hate this hour. Zoom. I hate this zoom. I hate this zoom. <laughs> How do you feel about the zoom, Michael? Okay. Ah, don't get me started. <laughs> he loves it. So I, it's hard to say. What is that, five? That's a ten. So this is a five. Two and a half? You're looking at two? Two and a half, maybe? Okay. That looks like two and a half, yeah? Okay. Okay, that's... And then uh, there's a higher, the, we need the HV comp and then the the craft comp. Once I can figure out, we'll, uh, we got main, we got the it's motor. Turn. That's the main comp, yeah. Is that it? What's that one down there? It's 
term. All the other ones look look good. Right, I just I don't know the uh the actual Oh, it must be the term right here. That's that one right there, I think. I believe. Yeah, okay. And then the craft comes over here. It's hard to see. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you can see it. It's fine. It's down there. It's about three quarters of the way down. There you go. The, the yellow ring. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Four and a half? Four and a half out of eight. Okay. That's all I need from this. Can you also write down the... Um, you write this down. Wait, what? I do. I write. Uh, you write that down because it's about it's about hundred less, hundred kilo ohms less. Than, oh, uh, um, it's just it's changed from our last dive, so I want to monitor it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right here as a note at depth. Sorry, guys, bear with us here for a couple minutes. DC five eight seven K with. Was that with or without craft? That's that's the craft. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what's causing it. Okay. Cool. Got it. Okay, you're happy. Uh, make you happy. Oh yeah. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? We are sciencing. Gonna be moving towards waypoint to B. And Lynette right. will tell you to get there. Is zero seven zero. Zero seven zero. Yeah. And ship's heading basically. Okay. If we could start off at like point two, that'd be great. And then if it if we manage to collect some little bubbles and it's it's a uh, not particularly sea penny, then maybe we'll go a little faster. We're all set with uh, calibrations and everything. Yeah. Just awesome. Okay. Lila, when you say um, point two, I'll let you get out in point two front knots. Of point two knots. Um, yeah, but we can get it going soon. Yeah, so, yep, we're going to be going uphill in this direction. So generally, we like to have Hercules in the shallower water. Yep. Okay. Seven zero. Dang it, I hate, uh, we need to get up here with a numpad up here. Get some efficiency going. Shout out to Chicken Peck at this keyboard. Kind of a cool shot of Hercules, too. You're welcome. <laughs> sand and sand and sand. Squirrel? 
could be. Bridge now. Hey, Hello. can we move There's something five zero there. meters bearing zero seven zero? Oh, shrimp. Thank you. I think it's Speed a big shrimp, zero point but we might as well look at it. We're here. Thank you. We're ready to add it to our count. It looks like it's going to be an Aristeid shrimp, but got to get a closer look at it. Panos, you can start to zoom whenever you're, you're ready. Oh, I'll put the lasers back on. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Look at those arms. Yeah. They swim really cool. So flowy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Let's see if I can get a nice steady pick of them. So, yeah, some kind of... Oh, so oh, dendro, dendrobranchiata uh, shrimp. Nice. Look at that. Nice shot. Yeah. You're welcome. Got him. Gonna, it's really cool the way that they the still cam there. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, I think both the still cams are being trouble shot still. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, yeah, that one there. That one there, oh, right. It looks I like it's, start, it's working. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it might be working. Okay. That's a mi solid maybe. It's a solid maybe. But this is great Zeus footage, too. And all of that helps with ID. All right, let's get them back awesome. in the middle of the... You guys let me know when you want to continue on. Or yeah, like we... Keep looking. Maybe like one more tight zoom and then we sure. can keep going. Go ahead, Panos. Yeah, that's great. Wow. That's cool. Kind of that's does great. Look like that's good. We can keep going. Chest coat. It's ready, too. <laughs> Come wide, please. So that was in the dendrobranchiata. James, there's a question in the chat saying, is there a new hand on Hercules' arm? I remember it being different a few weeks ago. Do you know anything about that? No, nope, it's the same wow. fingers from the last dive. Um, I'm not sure what they were doing last cruise um, with ONC. They might have had a different um, a different setup. Oh, they, they, don't, they don't do did. they don't do a lot of coral cutting, so they might have had something. Oh, different jaws. Yeah, yeah different jaws, something to handle uh, connectors, ODI connectors. They had the parallel or plates. Like that. Okay, yeah, parallel jaws. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yes, yeah, probably. And then another question here is asking about the ripples in the sand. Are we thinking those are from currents? Yes. Uh, yeah. That's what I think, I but yeah. I don't know. I, that's a guess on my part. Yeah, that there can actually be influence of of higher up motion, water motion. So it's similar to like what you would see at a beach. Um, these aren't super uniform, so it might not be as I think, uh, uh, tug, yeah. distinctive as Let like a take. onshore current. But Let me get up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, tug them. Definitely current related. To, um, Gonna be a bit before the swing starts I'm happening. Sidestep here. I'm a little south of you, judging by nav, so I'm gonna come, come a little north, and uh, we should get a better orientation. It feels better already with the extra weight yeah. that we added. Was it kind of hard to, to fly last off. time? Um, like felt like you're yes pushing it no, hard. Yes, I felt like I was pulling it, um, but I haven't flown this vehicle enough to know that something was wrong. Yeah. Um, Gabby came on shift after me and said it didn't feel as good as it normally does. Mm. So we've changed some things, and it definitely feels better. Okay. So there's that. Good. All right, I'm going to switch between back and forth between this and that because I can't strain my neck that much. On the 
last expedition I was out for, we had a spectrometer on uh, mounted to the back of Hercules. It um, was a, a spec. Yeah. Cool. Very yeah, cool. it was the I guess subsea mass spec. The first of time it was the first time that it, it was a, a, like a collaboration oh. between Impossible Sensing and NASA. And it's actually really hard, yeah, to design a mass yes. spec that yeah. can be that can function underwater. And and the same group designed one that's already out on the Perseverance rover on Mars. <laughs> but this one was after that because it's you know it's it's hard enough to design it for our own ocean that it got to space first. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. But they Classic. had it in the Classic. back and and were with the laser. Um, taking readings of the seafloor as we were going and in between these ripples you kind of see stuff getting caught it was more intense where we were then there were like clear brown lines in between the ripples um but as we were flying over those they were getting readings of different pigments and things that are in organic matter and in detritus that's just fallen down from higher up in the water it was kind of cool to have that confirmation cool. from a mass spec that that was organic matter. So it was with a, you didn't have to collect a sample? No, yeah, that was the whole purpose of it, was the idea is that instead of collecting a rock sample, you would be able to tell certain things about its geochemistry just with the laser reading Very without cool. actually having to pick up the rock. Yeah. So it mostly told about the chemistry of the rock, but not necessarily, was it aging it? Was it dating? No, it yeah. couldn't do that, no. Just about about the, the makeup. makeup of the rock, yeah. Cool. It's definitely still a work in progress, but the fact, you know, the, the step one was, okay, put it on an ROV, integrate it, and, and then see, does it work? Can we make the readings we need to make? And there were certain things they had to figure out in the beginning, like they, uh, the laser likes a very specific temperature to function properly, and they had to um, figure out, okay, when do we turn on the heaters in the laser bottle so it doesn't get too warm, but the seawater that's very cold also doesn't make it too cold. So they, there were, and there was a lot of, you know, code on the back end too, to be able to process the data in real time as we were going, um, to generate peaks and be able to say like, oh, just, you know, from a first glance, it looks like this is what we might be looking at. That's very cool. Yeah, it was super cool. That's the second coolest piece of equipment I've heard of on an ROV. What's the first coolest? They were hunting lionfish. It was an invasive species in this area of uh -huh. off of Florida. Uh -huh. And they had a laser-guided harpoon. What? That's amazing. <laughs> That's like. That sounds like fun. <laughs> wow. A laser-guided harpoon. If they were hunting anything besides lionfish, I would say that's unfair. I know, but the lionfish, it's like, right? <laughs> I thought you were going to see something like the, like the pigeon guided. Have you seen those? What, with the homing pigeons? What? Oh. Yeah. Uh, just so you guys know, we're um, I got was going a little too fast at the beginning. I got a little ahead of Atlanta, mm -hmm. so I'm just waiting as the boat brings it closer to us, and then we'll continue on. We'll move right along. If you're along. wondering why I'm just sitting here looking at the same it's piece all of sand. good. Thank you. <sighs> Moving right along. Is that ground fault craft? Yes. He says it's within an acceptable range, so I'm not worried about it. Sweet. Well, you're good, you're good. I got you. Sorry, I didn't realize my mic was muted. All good.
We are diving at 2,764 meters. Our max depth will be 2,778 on a small isolated peak seamount in the southeast area of Johnston Atoll, one of the most remote atolls on Earth. All right. And we're on the move. Woohoo. Moving right along. Our shrimp count is up to four. Noted. Oh, wait, no, I already noted that. <laughs> <laughs> you got me excited. Sorry. <laughs> Do you think? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's most definitely. There's a glare on, uh, on Zeus. Yeah, there is kind of. Is that the halo? A pretty heavy thing? glare. Mm, like I thought it was a right smudge on the screen it. or something, but it's on both, so clearly it's a... Do you see it? Yes, I do. Oh, there. Yeah. Don't really have an option for it. You can play with lights and see if, uh, if it changes cool. anything. You're just cool with it, I guess. Oh, you know what? We can turn off the down lights. Maybe. Turn off the down light, probably. Boop. Look at that. Gone. Nice. So Welcome, see if everybody. It doesn't Welcome. Know, interesting. It doesn't affect what I'm doing, so... Made the ridges stand out a little bit more. We were talking last night about the impact of a storm on the deep sea. Does anybody have any thoughts on what impact that might oh, cause? Oh, interesting. Um, in general, yeah. Definitely increased mixing uh, in, the, in the upper water column, bringing just mixing up nutrients and um, maybe oxygenating the water a little better further down. Um, yeah, that would be um, one thing that would come to mind. Yeah, I, I would be very curious to see like, well, how long would that? Because uh, obviously, or things that happen on the surface, it would eventually trickle down to changes mm -hmm. down here. But not depth. immediately, right? So I wonder how long that would like that would how much it would require to change, uh, create a significant change, yeah. and then uh, what would be that time scale for so that change. I don't know about in the Pacific, but in the Atlantic, um, in the South Atlantic Bight, there was, um, we had a lander down during Hurricane Dorian, mm. um, which passed between the coastline and the lander where it was stationed at a coral reef at 830 meters roughly, which is much shallower than we are now. But you could see a very distinct signal of temperature. So you saw, actually it was Warmer. a six month, six month maximum temperatures were recorded the day after, and, and then there's a secondary peak maybe three or four days after that, um, along with some increased fluorescent material, so definitely some surface-derived vertical transport down to, down to depth. I don't know hmm. whether that would extend to something like 2,800 meters, though, oh. or possibly to the top of some of these seamounts. We've been saying right. that some of them are as shallow as 500 meters. Oh, wow. At the top. Interesting. On Interesting. when you're on a continental margin too, like at the edge of a continent, like when we were doing work on the west coast of the U.S., um, you there there are certain things like turbidity flows, like um, many landslides, kind of that can be influenced by uh, intense storms, and those then will kind of tumble down and cascade into the deep sea. What's that on the right there on the seafloor? Sand. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, the one that thing rock? that is not sand. The little black speck? Yep. Black Maybe sand. an urchin? Or, oh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's very likely. It's about approximately 10 centimeters. You can zoom in on that, Panos, if you want. Ooh. Interesting. Nice. Is that a war? This is, they were calling these echinoderms on the last watch, but it doesn't look like, I mean, it doesn't look like an urchin to me. It's so flat, though. It is so flat. Is it not? Is that the some closest? Some sort of bur burrowing worm or something? Uh, do you have good pictures of that? Yeah. It's such a strange animal. 
we can get closer. Are you want to zoom yeah, out? Yeah, if we could go closer, that'd be great. You zoom out all the way. You know, like from afar, I want to say an enemy. Keep it zoomed out, please. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sit down in front of it, and then we'll get some really good close-up shots. Yeah, we're gonna have Have we seen anything like this before? Yeah, on the last dive they saw a bunch of these, but they didn't get any close right, zooms ahead, on Thomas. it. When I was watching, at least. Mm. Wow. wow, beautiful. Nice shot. Really neat. Looks anemone? Very fleshy. It looks yeah. like a weird, yeah. flat anemone that's maybe in a tube in the sand. Yeah, but... A full zoom? Um, I mean, that's... Pretty distinctive, like anemone looking mouth. I wonder how here. big it is. You it's, think it's about 10 centimeters. The, um, Sorry, let me rephrase the question. How big are they? I guess this is more for Mike. How how big are the push cores? Oh, uh, uh, you think we could push core right around it? I, it and get uh, it almost seems to be too big, but I think it's, be like too big. it's close. It's but close. I'm glad you bring up push cores because I was going to ask if uh, sometime if we could to. get ahead enough to. Core, yeah. Well, he's very coarse. The sand is. Um, low. it would be very, very close. What was yeah, that? It would be close. What would be close? It'd be better for like if you were gonna get like that. Probably be best. Oh, I was thinking about trying to get this little guy in a push. Oh, core, you mean like, the size? As yeah. As part of the push core sample. I mean, we can. I don't think you'll fit. I think we'll end up. Yeah. Breaking. I all think we would. I agree. Edges. All right, pulls zoom. Okay, let's go more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we happy here? If uh, yeah, we're going to do push yeah. cores, I'm going to get ahead. Yep, let's do that. Up. Zoom out. Can we, uh, zoom out, please? Yeah. yeah. If you want, you try to get the zoom. I don't know how you like your camera. Some people like the zoom just so you can see the bottom of the something, so you have a reference to this shit. I do like to see, like the bit of. Oh, I want to know that the camera's square to the vehicle. Okay. But then I don't necessarily like having things in view. Okay. Just like that. That's perfect. Okay. Continue back on our 70 degrees heading. Yeah, on the last dive, they were seeing a bunch of those scattered around, and they kept saying echinoderm, so I'm like, it doesn't look like any kind of echinoderm to me. It looks very anemone-y. <laughs> anemone-y. Anemone-esque. <laughs> Anemonally. Yeah. And then, James, I don't know how you like to core, but this sediment has been very... Um, not core friendly because it's kind of coarse and it yeah. like it likes to fall out. So some pilots were trying to core using bubble cam like right next to right the core holsters. The yeah, that's what I was. I was just going that through that in my head. Actually. Yeah. Um, if I can do that, I think I will. If sure. I can get a good view with that backward Trim. facing camera. Yeah. And the core samples tell us more about the sediment, the makeup. Um. Yes, but uh, we're collecting them more for scientists who have requested to look at the organisms that might be living in the sediment or... Uh, go ahead, did someone ask a question? Oh, no. Um, yes. One of the projects is actually trying to see if they can find fish otoliths in the sediments. Um, another... Yeah, another was looking at the infauna living in the sediments. So. There was not very much in in the sediment that you know visible non yeah. mi non microbes um, in the past, but we'll see what happens. Jane, you took us up to five on the shrimp count. Sure did. There's a little guy in the 
or a little shrimp in the left bottom left corner. Okay. Okay, there we go. Starting to pull Atlanta, so I will stop there. Set her down. Do you need me to back up? Yep, yeah, okay. All right. Let's not waste time. Valid comms, okay, we just need... Yeah, that's better. Jogs on. What was that? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, if I can reach that close one, We're working on taking a core sample now? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so you can like keep in mind, but we'll see how it goes. idea that might help me. Let's bring the box out of it. Do you mind doing that for me? Thank you. That's good. Nice. Come on. Thank God, it's the strongest elastic ever. Okay. <laughs> Can you please bring the box back in? It is so fast on the surface. It's like... <laughs> the box? Yeah, it's yeah. so aggressive. And here it's like... Is there suction on the core sampler or is it... No, no, it's just, just like it. kind of a vacuum that forms. Yeah. Because there's like a flap that covers, there's there are holes in the top that let the water out as you're filling the core with sediment, and then it's the flap sort of seals over the holes. No, I'm going to do it right here. Flap. It's okay. I know, but um, like they said, if, if the ground is doesn't really permit you to to transport it around the side of the vehicle. They, uh, some, I think, I don't know how if they do it, but they'll, they do it a little further back somehow that you can still see it, but we'll see, see to see it. how this goes. I mean, it looks like it's... Okay, can you... Oh, it's coming out. I know. Uh, box out quickly, please. Nice. Okay, stop there. A little bit more out. Oh, come on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Got something, anyway. Yeah, hard to tell if it all, like, floofed up on the way in. There's definitely some in the tube, you can see. There's, yeah, definitely in the tube. Um, it, I mean, it, for this, it's not super important to have, like, the sediment water boundary layer right. there. Right. 
I, unfortunately, with no, this sediment, okay. I don't think I can do better than I, that. No, no, I don't think you can either. That's kind of how it, that's the best of how it's gone. Yeah. That's so good job. That was oh, yay. a great, great core attempt. Uh, great. Awesome. 17. Oh, that's a little better. Better than last time, right? Core handle broke. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what yeah, tr Trevor was saying. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good there. I'll leave that there. Thanks. Okay, let's keep going before the boat passes us and we got to get them to stop. Anything else you want here before we go? Nope, that's good. All right. Thank you. No problems. Aisa, what are you looking for specifically when you look out on the on the seafloor like that? Is there something from a distance you notice? Well, like for this cruise specifically, I think there is a um, few samples we're looking for. But usually in, in a sediment like that, we are not going to find so much diversity. Um, and like I think for sea pens that's w w and black corals, that's the things I will be focusing in and for, for collection for, for my study. Um, sun sediment is not a, where we could find um, black corals, for instance, because it's quite soft uh, substrate. We could find some sea pens, but I think it's quite coarse. Um, usually, it would be a little bit more um, fine sediment in, than, than this one. So, um, as we, as some species we, we can see, I don't think we're going to see much diversity in in, in this sediment at the moment, yeah. If we could um, get out ahead again, I would love to try an, a second core, if possible. Sure. What's that shadow? That's a oh. big shrimp. Huh. It's another shrimp. Is it not the Look at the yeah. whiskers on the guy. Yep. Probably an Aristeid. But it looks like it's running. Do you want to look at this guy or do you want me to? All good. We can do the coring. Okay. Huh. Ooh, oh. that was cool. <laughs> Looked like it folded in half almost. Yeah, it kind of like moved upward. Oh, what's that in the back too? There's a fish like in the center oh up I there. Oh, I see it. Maybe let's look at that quick. Yeah, it's in the right direction anyway. Yeah. Does it look like an eel? It actually looks kind of like a sponge. <laughs> oh. Gonna be tugging in a second. What? Gonna be tugging in a second. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll sit down. We maybe might we'll just uh, have to admire it from here. That yeah, core, core, and then admire. Yeah, we'll get to it, and then it's not going anywhere. It's yeah, not it a fish. Look like it's no, moving. I think it's no. a sponge. It looks kind of like Ceracophilus, but I can't tell from here. What's what would he be attached to? Uh, if it's a Ceracophilus sponge, they actually like are attached in the sand. It's kind of crazy. Oh. Uh -huh. They're not attached to a rock. No, That's what they, I was hoping you'd say. They have, uh, yeah, no, they have threads. 
Well, uh, sand is technically like really small rock, right? I'll take it. Yep. Sure. It's a win. No peduncle? Yeah. <laughs> I also don't know that it's that kind of sponge yet, but the, if it is, it's... It reminds me of the sponges we saw the other day that had sediment inside of them. Mm-hmm. It's hard to see when it blends in with the sand behind it, yeah. huh? Yeah, I know. If we could do a quick zoom on it. What was the name of the sponge that you hypothesized? Go ahead and zoom in there. I had thought Saracophilus, but I actually don't see those threads on it. Oh, it looks like he's attached to a rock, all you yeah, rock boaters out there. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it actually does look. I don't know. It's weird. Could we zoom a little bit closer if possible? It almost looks like a teeny tiny polyopagon sponge on some teeny tiny rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's weird. Just found its home right there in the middle. Yeah. All right, we can uh, we can core whenever you're ready. Can we come wide, please? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't take pictures of it. Yeah. No, that's okay. That's good. So we know where the sediment came from yet. Good call. And that is going to be, let me just see where you put that in there. No, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. How are you uh, feeling with all this? Good. All right. So let's do the same thing. You want to box out for me? Yeah. Let me see it. Are you clear? Yeah, go for Can it. Can see the description for the last? We yeah, are taking a core sample at 2,760 meters. That's good. On uh, a small isolated peak seamount in the southeast region of Johnstone's Hole. An area that was mapped last year by the Nautilus during NA140, but has Come not been explored yet. Oh, oh no, wow, no. again. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who's done that. No. Okay, by box E, That's if anyone like remembers. Never happened. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind writing whenever you have a chance that in box E is the handle for that core that be. Oh, you know what I'm seeing? I don't think that the push cores are being taped. Is, are they not getting taped? Oh, the handle, clamps. the handle needs to get taped and then hose clamped. That could very well be the case. Possible. Yeah, that's got to be what's I happening. I didn't see how these were set up, so I'm, I, I don't Because we know. electrical tape the lid to the um, to the core, and then the hose clamp goes yeah, by over, like, but like lower down. Like a couple down. layers. Yep. Are right, you want me to come in? Box in, please. Yep. That's got to be what's happening. We get, if you need to, you can undo the thing, so this Do moves what? a little bit more. If you need to, you can undo the lock. If you needed to. Oh, I uh, know. It's okay. okay. It's all right. I just. I always get like an upper shoulder kind of cramp when I do this. It's just, it's fine. All good. Okay, let's. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, um, don't uh, wait for my cue. Um, as soon as I'm high enough, please bring the box out. Because I think this is going to be the same thing. I think we're going to be go leaking look. sediment everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's not saving Jane. No, let me just try again. I think it's all gone. That came out a lot quicker than the last yeah. time. Yeah. Ready to uh, box back in, please. We can give it one more try, and if it doesn't work, that's all right. We can move on. Do it this kid, yeah. Okay, you ready there, Mike? Yeah. Let's get one more little push down. All right, here we go. We are taking the second core sample for our scientists ashore. Come on. It's hard to see this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Really up, and, up and aft. Oh. All good. We can. Yeah. I just can't quite see where yeah. to put it. Especially because it's spewing. It's so silty now. There's All nothing, good. There's nothing left. We're we can call there. it at that. That's all right. Was I'm really stubborn. I kind of want to try another one, but if you want, if you want to <laughs> give up, then, then that's okay. If you want to try one more, <laughs> sure, we can call it at that. It's, we can Whatever call this moment. practice. If uh, before we go, you might want to clear it out. You know, I'm just gonna take it out the thing, rotate the drone. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Some kind of tube anemone. Yeah. yeah. It does look, it does look like that a lot, yeah. But it, but I only saw one row of tentacles, right? Like I didn't I didn't uh, see two. Do you want me to bring it back in, or you want to leave, just leave it out this time? Um, you bring it in a little bit, so you can see. Yeah, it's just so I can see the outer lip of that the PVC holster. Um, I think. All right, I think that's good. We are taking core samples for scientists ashore. We are on the sea floor at 2,760 meters in depth. Nice. In the southeast region of Johnston Atoll. Sweet. We'll Hopefully. see see what we got. Probably that's good. I think it's good too. I think nice it's all job, the way in there. Good job. Stubbornness Sorry. pays off sometimes. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, uh, I'm just going to give it a little tap. If I can. Does it matter? Depth perception off with one <laughs> camera. There we go. Okay. I'm happy with that. Sweet. Okay. Well done. I'll show you a picture of that sponge that I thought that it was. Yeah, I was going to look for one. 
Actually, can you hold it right there? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I was just bringing it in so you can see. Can you yeah, thanks, Mike. Remember what that's under? It's a glass sponge. I think. Yeah, it's a farinimated. Here, it's it's not <laughs> it, but. Can't quite get there. There we go. They come out of the sand and they have like, kind of these thready bits, and then a, a big. I mean, it looks just like that from afar, but uh, Bridge, nav. you're kind of out. something else. I think so. If that's something that we're not familiar with, should we? Oh, oh. Sempirella. Seven zero, please. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Looks like Sempirella. You're right. I've never seen that just before. I'm gonna add that. There you go. You're right. It should be in board. Those two best practices, right? Spoonge. Uh, <laughs> Spelled it spoonge. Spoonge. <laughs> a spoonge? Spoonge. I don't know why that's funny, but yep. I know, I agree. A loose spoonge. <laughs> I heard you all mentioning if it was a glassy sponge. Is there, are there different types of sponges? That Did you just call it a classy sponge? Not glass, glass. <laughs> <laughs> a glass sponge. Okay. Um, compared to like a yes. class A. The hexactinellids are the glass sponges, and those are the ones that have six pointed. So the the what their skeleton is made up of is these tiny um, six pointed spicules. They're called, um, and they're kind of these like six rayed little glassy pointy bits. Um, and in the glass sponges, those are fused often. And then there's basically like a cobweb of not true tissue, but tissue-esque cells over that. And they're super cool. Yeah, that cobweb, they can actually send, glass sponges can send, because the cobweb is actually, it's multiple cells that don't have full um, membranes. So they're, they're kind of joined together and like sharing nuclei almost and they can send electrical signals through that whole cobweb wow so even though they don't have like a nervous system they're super simple they don't have nerves it almost functions like that which is kind of cool we have some things here what are yeah, these things up we the have top left, it looks like, like halthurian up to the left and like i don't know if that's what that is on the right <laughs> There's something so there. Yeah, we could look coral? at that first. Do yeah. shrimp, do shrimp in that aft cams count? Uh, sure. Okay, five. Oh. Or six. I think we're at six. Um. Okay, which one do we want to look at first? Here, the, the one on the left. To the, the right. right. To the right. Okay. Yeah, that actually is. That is a, it looks like a sea pig almost from here. Actually. Oh, cool. You could not see the uh, the lasers like at all. Oh, there's like a. Oh, there's a couple fish. There's oh, over there too. there's a fish. Oh, looks like a halosaur maybe. We can look at the fish first because it, it'll want to disappear away, the yeah. first. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. There he goes. Oh. Without, we gotta zoom on the head, otherwise. Yeah, you I can. Don't know. You zoom in as much as you want. There, are panos. Oh no! Oh. oh, it's hard to get a good look. Where are yeah. you going? Camera shy. Oh, man. Camera shy. Maybe, maybe a halosaur. But I do think that what's right below us, this guy? Is, that's a sea pig. Elpidity. And it might take off and fly if we're lucky. Uh -oh. That'll do sea pig. So now. Oh, you can see all those inside parts. Yeah, that's yeah. what's really Zoom cool. Zoom as much as you want there, Pana. Thank you. A lot of the holotherians here are nice. translucent in the deep sea, so you can see everything that's going on inside. And most of what you see is is a, is their gut. So you can see that sandy colored stuff in the middle. It's like that spitting it out. Is sand in their gut. Wow. Yep. And then a lot of and then some of the other stuff you see is gonads. They don't um they don't have a brain, so like that thing at the top near its head is not a brain. But these are actually related to sea stars. And so sea stars, you might know, have tube feet. And these, their tube feet are, are kind of modified. So the things all on the bottom of it are modified tube feet. Um, 
Yeah, they're pretty cool. This one is standing really strangely right now. Usually either it's like down on the bottom or taking off, and this one is somewhere in between. But that cape thing kind of sticking up, they almost, they wiggle their front two feet and that cape and s can swim like that, which is pretty cool. Could we zoom on the tiny purple thing underneath? No, I'm full zoom. Oh, that's full zoom. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I can try to get the vehicle closer, but... Uh, oh, the the tricops is, or the, I guess now... Yeah, we are cops. pretty close to it, but... It, it almost looks like an associate or something. Oh, yeah. Like, is it a, or, or is that in the sediment? Something else, yeah. It's also got tentacles. Interesting. If we could... I mean, it's almost worth getting a little closer just to look sure. at Sure, yeah, can we come out, uh, zoom out, please? Maybe if the sea pig flies uh, away, we can okay. see what's there. Okay, yeah, give me a second. Yeah. There's like a little hop. Yeah, a little scooch. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the final hour. We are? Oh, oh yeah, look watch. at that. Oh, watch, yeah. I'm still not used to these four hours. I'm used to 12s and... <laughs> Four is a luxury. Ah, right, there she is. We've got a couple questions in the chat just asking about the depth. It is 3.08 a.m. and we are at 2,758 oh, oh. meters. Gone. It might take off. We'll see. Okay. He's like, you can see in the down cam yeah. there, he's very close. So let's um, So it's gonna swim. zoom ahead or zoom away. Zoom whatever you'd like to do. Zoom in. Let's zoom see in. it. These guys don't look like they can move very fast, can they? Uh, yeah, they can. They can swim. I don't. They can swim pretty animatedly. Faster than you think. Wow, it's really interesting how you can it see teleports. straight through it. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what that is on the bottom. I mean, now you can't see it as well. But He's it moving. almost looked like it. I don't mean what? it's weird because oh, it was purple, but I don't know if it was some kind of a parasite living on the bottom of it. It didn't seem like part of the sea cucumber. Full zoom. Thank you. Well, I guess it's moved just enough now that we can't really can't see, see that. underneath it anymore. Well, we could get it to fly, then maybe we could see it. Poke him with the is. arm. Uh, yeah. Would you go take your temperature here with this temp probe? <laughs> <laughs> Say, uh, Open your mouth. Uh, <laughs> okay. We can uh, move to... Open up your are we, Is there a ship move still going, uh, nope. Lynette? Or did you pause it? I don't it? think. Uh, there's five meters left on them. Okay. I think that's fine. We can We can keep on going. Do you want to see that thing that was to the left? Yeah, maybe a, a we'll look at it quick, but if you start getting tugged, we'll move on. It's not uh, worth stopping. We're okay right now. Yeah, we're not going to get yeah, tugged. Yeah, then no, let's we go look minutes. at it. Sorry, Tim, one second. Um, okay. It was uh, that Is shadow that, over that there, yeah? shadow thing, right? It looks like a... Yeah. It's a rock. It's like... But it's like painted banta black. Doesn't seem to be moving. It's a sea slug or some kind. There's the fish also. Is that that fish that yeah. swam away from us before? I think it, it was. Does I think it is, is yeah. that fish. Yeah. Is that a shrimp to the left? Is that number seven? Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Looks exactly like the other one. All right, Jane, we got another. As if Sounds it were good. the same one. Oh, that's a cucumber. Yeah, dark purple. Like an actual proper... Oh, it's more like an eggplant, I guess. It does look like an eggplant. It was like spiky. And more flat. Can we go than ahead and looks. zoom on that too? Yeah, go right ahead, Panos. Oh wow! Look how pretty it is. So spiny. What's oh. that? Is that? This that looks like it has the same associate, weirdly. It does, yeah. So let's, yeah, right. let's zoom on that oh. associate like if we can. Uh, it has like a little worm or It is a polychaete worm, worm, I think. A Maybe a polynoid. Hey, maybe I could teach biology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full zoom. Okay, so it's Is got some weird purple polychaete on it. Purple. It's weird that the last one had the same thing. Yeah, it looks like somebody in the chat agrees. Polychaete worm. Yeah. From here, it looks like a polynoid, noid, which is a scale worm. I keep thinking you can see it moving wow. across the top. That's cool. That is very cool. Getting a massage. Mm -hmm. We can move on whenever you start getting towards the inkage. No, we're gonna be. Here for, I'm like right above. Yeah, we got. We have some time. If you guys are happy with what we've seen, I'll we'll continue on. But we do have a little bit 
a couple minutes here if you want to. I'm going to yeah, mess around real it. quick with the triclops, so uh, I'll be offline for just one moment. Do Jane, do you want to tell us about sea, cu sea cucumbers? Sure. They are echinoderms, which uh, that term is um, the name of a phylum that also includes the sea urchins, the sea stars, um, spiny skin is what it means in Latin, I believe. Um, these guys are really important for, I think we, we talked about bioturbation the other night um, on our last watch. So these will kind of move around in the sediment and turbate it. So mix it up, um, prevent it from becoming deoxygenated. So in the top layers of the sediment, you have all of these small fauna kind of in that are just consuming any organic material or detritus that falls and, and by metabolizing they're using up a lot of the oxygen supply. So the top layer of sediment can become quite anoxic if it's not well mixed. And mm. so these guys play a very important role to do that. Um, so we call them bioturbators, bio for li alive, turbators for things that mix. I know you told us the other night, but remind me, anoxic? What does that mean? Anoxic, uh, that just means without oxygen. So anoxic. Oh, okay. Anoxic. <laughs> anoxic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so kind of helps keep uh, the ecosystem healthy. That's about my limit of what I know about sea cucumbers. No, I know that great. they're also uh, I learned a lot from they're that. a delicacy in certain countries, so they can become quite overfished in shallower parts where where uh, fisher folk can can capture them easily. So definitely, um, you know, we need them for healthy ecosystems. So it's an important resource for humans. And this is a very beautiful purple color. I like it very much. Yeah, it's nice how it gets really dark in the back. I'm trying to see, but focus went out. Motor. No, no, sorry. I, I didn't see those extra few notches at the bottom. Uh, it actually looks like moving. our oil's heated up a little bit. It, it raised in pressure. OK, guys, if you're happy there, I'm going to continue on. Sounds good. I think we're All right, good. panels, can we zoom out, please? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Bridge now. Can we have five zero meters zero seven zero, please? Zero seven zero. Thank you. We see a lot of seafloor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> pretty consistent. Yeah. Well, we're still a uh, pretty. I mean, we haven't moved very far from our first waypoint, so we're, um, you know, seeing what we can find in the sediment before we... It looks like we are coming up to a little bit more topography in... I don't know exactly how many meters, but I'm seeing it getting closer, at least. Yeah, when you're looking from Atalanta, you can see how vast and similar the environment is all around it. Okay, I'm back. Um, you missed a stimulating conversation about bioturbation. Oh, good. Yeah, I heard you giving lots of good sea cucumber facts. Could we try? I don't know if Pilot is comfortable with it. Um, the next move at point three. Go faster. Yeah, we can bump up the speed now. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah that'd be great. Bridge now. 
Can we increase speed to 0 0.3 knots, please? We had a couple questions about the Thanks. sea cucumber. Do they usually change color? Uh, no, they usually stay the same color, although they come in many colors. Uh, a lot of the ones you see in the deep sea, though, are like either translucent or purple or pinky. Those are kind of the main colors that we see. Don't really come across blue or green or, uh, yeah. And what was your best estimate for the size on that one? Oh, I wasn't looking very closely during that second I one. got it. It was about, I think I noted it, 20, 20 centimeters, centimeters, something like that, yeah. maybe a little bit more. Yes, they, 20 centimeters. They can be, they are quite diverse, actually. I think there is about a little bit under 2,000 species described. Mm. 2,000, so you said? 2,000, yeah. And I think also beyond the bioturbation, they also um, they eat out the the they recycle all the organic matter, like they eat out the, the treats and um, in the sediments. So it's it's quite um, important role in terms of recycling. Uh, that is the tether. Some rocks around here. Yeah, none of them are quite quite the. Uh, They're all pretty small. The pebbly nodule-y type that we're looking for. Are they in fact rocks or other sure. dark material? I think they're rocks. Or are they clumps? <laughs> clumps and smaller Pebbles. rocks. But what was more interesting to see was the association looks like, because the two that we saw... That both had that yeah. polychaete. Yeah, that was very interesting. I haven't seen that polychaete before on uh, um, on the sea cucumbers, but it was on both of them. Same purple one. Looks like a shark tooth. Where do you see the shark? Yeah, <laughs> in the down-looking cam. Oh, I don't think it is. It's yeah. just it just kind of looks like it from that perspective. If we just you know while we're waiting, sit down and zoom in here. I'm curious if we will see anything small that we're ignoring. Oh. Maybe it is a shark tooth. Look at it. You know what? Zoom on the shark tooth. Sure. Zoom in on the shark tooth. If it is dibs. No way, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I called it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Darn. Uh, go um, ahead, Pano, so you can zoom in. I navigated us there. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, all, right, all right. I logged it. But I dibs it. <laughs> like already here in the in oh, the rock, triclops, so. oh. you see like a, there's like a tiny little organism that you can't see from that angle, but from the, the porch angle, you can see this little organism. I don't know if that's a hydroid or what that is. It's, it's on that rock, I think. But there's small life that you just can't see from above, from the oh. angle that we look at it. Well, Find sure. the way. Okay. That's a good zoom. Thank you. But it's interesting, oh, even a small hard substrate yeah. is, is able to... Is, yeah, to uh, host. Uh, so oh, there is, there's the thing. Left. Yeah, that's what uh, we're looking at in the let's see. camera. Looks branching almost. Uh-huh, I see. Can I zoom, James? Yeah. yeah go yes, ahead. Please. Yeah. I don't know, man. Interesting. Like a black coral, baby awesome. black coral. Well, looks, looks like. You can see you the can little see the pinholes. Polyps. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was looking at the rock. Yeah, if you. It looks it's like a juvenile a black coral. More. Excuse me? Is that full zoom? Yes, yes, it is full zoom. I'm taking a photo here, too. I don't know uh, if we'll be able to zoom rock. in better on that. I can move the vehicle 
two or three feet closer? Uh, sure, why not? It's kind of interesting to see a juvenile black coral. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, well, oh, well. So, question in the chat, the green dots are our lasers about 10 centimeters apart. 10 meters apart, everything looks, everything's huge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm that what you crazy. imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah that's, <laughs> so stupid. So, but the pressure, you can zoom in there, but I'll lighter. Pan down, tilt down, excuse me. It makes sense, right? The pressure of the water wants to squish everything so everything's longer. Sure. Right. You can really see the black skeleton, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see the tiny little um, tentacles, tentacles from the polyps. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Mm, in the alternated branch, simple pinnels. Any guesses? Mm, hard to tell in the juvenile hard, form. Yeah. That's that's good there on the zoom. We can zoom out. scour. Yeah, z zoom out and scour around. More. Because it looks like he is not. The impression I have was that was broken. I'm not sure. That's kind of cool to see those lasers just kind of like. Uh, uh, okay. Pull some out, James. Continuing on. Here we go. Woohoo! Moving right along. Moving right along. Yeah. It's an interesting view. It is an interesting view to have this. It's a cool camera. Yeah, it's like you're walking, walking on the seafloor. Mm hmm. Uh -oh. Seems like you can see some of the, um, maybe some little tracks. I can't quite tell if it's just lighter yeah. sand ripples or if they're actually tracks. Coral Oki from the RV pilots. ROV pilots, sorry. What happened? Coral Oki. Well, they got some Coral Oki uh, going we on up sorry. there. You guys better stop talking about singing or I'm actually going to start singing and then you're going to be really sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just mute I get you. It. I just got it. Coral Oki. I, I, I think they, they were making well, up their own I'm version like, of the song. What are you talking about? I've never heard of that. It's Is that some sort of a Abdullah? The only. It's deep sea singing. <laughs> Jane coined, coined the phrase last week. Uh, Coral. Coral Loki. Loki. Yeah, it only took you a week to get it. <laughs> I've never heard it. Shrimp. 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 I hadn't heard it. I wasn't aware. Numero ocho. Uh, now that we're getting over, I don't know, kind of pebbly stuff, mm. it's changed a I bit. think we should take a scoop at some point, but we can keep going for now, but. Okay. Let me know when you're. Yeah, uh, if it seems like they're running out up ahead, I don't know. Mm. I'm so kind of curious if they're gonna get to be more. I'll wait, wait, wait it out a little. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta be able to get all the sense if we can in the last 30 minutes. Yeah. We're just popping the skins. We are going oh to yeah, be bringing them to the base of the slope as slurping. we knew. Yeah, pretty Ooh. much. Just have the, Something the off on the left ready. there. I don't know. Oh, is that like a little... It's kind of hard to tell what's a pebble flat. and what's not. No, no we're too ripple. far left. It was on the right. There was, there was a shrimp. There's that. Oh, that was oh, right. there's that. No, Thanks it. Back yeah. there, yeah. There it is. Yeah. What's that up there? What is that up there? Oh, they're big. Moving. I spy. <laughs> it looks like a Another shrimp. <laughs> when I count that, so. What is that, nine? Rat tail. Ooh. Is it fish? I think it's a cuskeel. I think oh. we're going to get a good zoom on the face, though, huh? You yeah, we should look at that head. You like. Yeah, it's a cuskeel. Probably 40 centimeters. Hover there. Looks big. Look at that head. Yeah. So these, yeah, are our bottom feeding, benthic feeding fish. And hey, where are you going? They have protrusible mouths. Cool. So they like 
when they open their mouths to feed on something, it's like their jaw almost like s extends out of their, not their jaw, but like their mouth extends out like of their mouth hole. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Like a goblin shark? Yeah, exactly. Kind of like that. Cool. Uh, I didn't know that. They're mandible. Ooh, look at them go. Sure, mandible. And evils. That's yeah, the they just, they look like, like the bobbly heads of the fish world. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, they're pretty it's much like all tiny head, aren't body they? and a <laughs> big head. If we could zoom even closer on the, on the head, I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. I should totally be taking this picture. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I had better ideas. Oh, it looks like you've got a oh. good triclops. I am uh, trying to take the picture, but. Get back down there. Get back there. Get back there. Oh, stay. Oh, there, there we, go. we go. Let me zoom on you. Take photo. Oh. Whoa, Is cool. it taking these pictures, Jane? It's taking mine. Is it air mine? Uh, yeah, yeah, some of them are coming on. Oh, that is good picture. Yep. The fish biologists are going to love us. You got them. They're good. Wow. Look at the detail there. Oh, oh yeah. Look yeah. At that. That's great. I can try to get a couple without the lasers if you want. What do Cuskies eat? They don't want to cut them in half. Oh, he wants to go in the slurp. Whatever little things they can find uh, on the Look seafloor. At that, uh, Look at that yeah. head. That's a great shot. It's nice. a lot more like. So uh, you can see the little, you see the barbels on the bottom of their um, yes. chins. Those are modified fins that, uh, like, allow them to 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 sense around on the seafloor a bit and find food too. Very tadpole-looking body. He's it really is very close. Tadpole. Like a tadpole. Okay, yeah, we can. Look, they look at the size of that thing, though. Yeah, yeah that's to her, big. That's big. And it also I got it at like about all right, forty like centimeters. It had like a leathery, leathery head almost. Yeah. It was great shots. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. It looked a little iridescent Girl. too. Good work, team. Look at this one. Nice job. Yeah. Oh, Your those ones on the head must be so good too. Okay, here we go. So we have a question about how how long are our deep dives? This dive is 20 hours in total. We are about three and a half hours in. <laughs> you know what, people? Like, we deserve to look at all of the cool things in our last half hour. And if we're still over rocks, the next watch can take that scoop. I agree. <laughs> Unless we start running out of them, I say we hand it over. Yeah, to think. Roger that. Can you all this? Seen more and more of them, actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so really we're just waiting for the optimal location. Yep. I think it's going to be at least 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we could s we would still be as engaged if this wasn't in color? No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, definitely not. Everything I mean, it's not like, like there's a lot of colors. There's like... Two or three of them. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But they're. Uh, <laughs> I get it. RGB. I mean, okay, yes, those are the colors. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was what you were going with it. Oh. Not what I meant, but I, I kind of stumbled into it. If everything looked like uh, aft cam or bubble, we would probably still be excited. I think. The video artifacts tell Is you that, that it's real. Is that something? <laughs> I think it is that, uh, oh, that's a shrimp. Shrimp. Yep. It's 11. No, it's nine. <laughs> Even if it's not, it is. <laughs> it's number 11, I swear. 12. It's not bad to uh, zoom on some of those shrimp as they come up either. Is that another sea pig? Yeah, it might be. Yeah, sorry, I don't know if, you, if you guys are interested in shrimp or not. But yeah, shrimp are good to zoom okay. in on. We love the shrimp. Okay, maybe really we can take coconut. some pretty triclops cam pics of this. Let's see if I can get it in front. Coming down. All's clear. Nice. It's nice that there's no like Sandstorm that happens immediately. No superhero landing. 
It's all skills. Let's see if this has oh. also. <laughs> it's gonna take off. If it has the associate, yeah. Was this another sea pig? Yeah. Uh, but the, the ones we. Bye bye. No, no, I'm just gonna get closer. Oh. I think this is Ooh, the same shrimp. Shrimp. Same, shrimp. The same one. No, okay. No, it's a different one. I know it's always the same one. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> This one looks like it's oh, on the move. Oh, he's, oh, he's kind of rolling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is an action. Oh, it has one. It has yeah. it, too. It wants belly rubs. It has the same associate. Zoom as much as you want there, Panos. Oh, hey, where are you going? there she goes. Stop it. It's moving. It's moving. Whoa, it's, it's like... Oh, it's I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not putting in thrust. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I it didn't even see it moving to do that. That's interesting. He's got another it's a worm. Pig and not a yeah, it has another one look of the. Um, it does look like a possum. <laughs> like, it looks like Polynoid worms yeah. on it. Oh, look! You can see the um, kind of the mouth in, the, in between the feet. Oh, interesting. Uh, I assume that's that, the mouth. Is, yeah. Are we gonna say that's the mouth? Yeah. It's both. The, um, speaking of the other end Probably. of the sea cucumber, <laughs> oh, though, are we talk because about there is another end, oh, okay. and it's not, yeah, they're not the same. Yes, we we're going to talk about how they breathe through their butts. Oh, I was, th I was thinking <laughs> we were going pearlfish. Or pearlfish. Oh, or no, the pearlfish. No, not the pearlfish. They also do have associates in their butts sometimes. <laughs> but they, they suck water <laughs> in <laughs> through their booties. <laughs> No. And no. <laughs> yeah, they Does have the sea pigs do this? Yes, and they have a res they have respiratory trees um, internally on that end, and they then are able to take oxygen out of the water that they sucked in, and then they and then they push it back out. <laughs> they breathe through their butts, people. Well, thank you. <laughs> everyone just, just a everyone scientific needed explanation to know. of the truth. If, uh, if this ever, you know, comes up, I'll be sure to credit you. Let people <laughs> know at bars that I am the one who told you that yeah. fact. Yeah. When you win at trivia, I would like... Uh, I'm like on whose line, and uh, not whose line, who wants to be a millionaire? You on Jeopardy? <laughs> yeah, Jeopardy, yeah. Oh, well, are we moving? All right. What is a uh, booty breathing? We can move along, yeah. <laughs> it's like paralyzed or something. The pig just looks so... It's, got, it's yeah. caught in the headlights. I can't like be bothered to move. the headlights. <laughs> by the lights. Those are almost the notes. <laughs> <laughs> Burn. Uh, well, we're, well, like we're streaming. We Flawless. Can't, we can't have. There's like a, <laughs> oh, we, yeah, get, right. we get checked down. <laughs> One of our shore scientists asked if there's any sea puns, sea puns with muscular peduncles yet. <laughs> oh, not we're yet. Waiting. Something I'm What's that? Oh, it's an acorn worm. Was that uh, I think they're talking about the thing on the left. Acorn worm, which is not a worm. What? It's oh, a hemichordate. We saw a lot of acorn worms the other day. Yeah. Yo but is Yoda. It an acorn? Yoda worm. <coughs> it's not a worm, but it is an acorn. <laughs> yeah, definitely an acorn. A tree will grow. And we have noticed that on the website there is an update that we're waiting for for the shifts and the different crew that are on watch right now. So we're working on getting that set up. What is that? What is that? Zoom in. You're right, though. Now that you mentioned it, I'm noticing that Ooh. everything really is purple and pink. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of purples, a lot of pinks, a lot of translucent. They're waving. It's kind of the name of the game down what here. Is it, what is that part of the Of the hemichordate? Um, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't know a lot about a hemichordate anatomy, but we can, we'll get back to you on it. Is that whole thing that body, or is it like a trail that is part of uh, I think what we're seeing now is its body, but sometimes it's kind of uh, unclear where its trail of food ends, or where it ends and its trail of food begins. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Another it, belly rub. It's gonna oh. show us. Is it just peeling itself off the floor? I think maybe it might have been. It might. Oh, thrusted. Maybe we are thrusting a bit more oh, than we The only the only inputs are. It's kind of a cool picture though. Straight to up. See the underside. Yeah. So at least. He's doing something. Hey. 
It's like <laughs> giving a belly rub. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like the, the arms ship. are waving. Oh, this makes me really sad, actually. Oh. No, it looks like the. Uh, you see the mucus in the sand. Crazy. Kind of making arm this thing, but like it's running out of air. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing yeah. tube man. Yeah. yeah. Those things. Yeah, yeah. We can move on whenever. Okay, zoom out, please. Of course, right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Very interesting looking fella. What a twist. Man, this thing needs to get tight. Like this thing's just kind of like, oh, keeps moving. Needs to be tightened. Yeah. Looks pretty similar. I think I've seen that rock before. Looks like we're starting to get some uh, stuff on the sonar, maybe? Oh yeah, we've got the hill. Oh, there's the hill in the distance, 40, just in time. 40 meters ahead. Uh, we have 20 minutes. I don't rec I think yours is closer. Yeah, I think yours are 10s, so 10, 20, so 20, 20 meters, like, and yeah, Argus is 20s. Uh, is that uh, Argus on the left? Right? But there, it says 20 meter divisions in the corner. Oh, right, so it's. Uh, I thought it was the other side. Uh, I'm tripping. You're right, Don. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Getting slopey. It looks like there is a direction of Ooh, the this sediment. Like yeah. The yeah. Oh, and there's the base of the hill. Well, it looks like we will be taking our scoop after all. So whenever we can get out ahead and just take a quick scoop, that would be great. I see big rocks. That means we get to enjoy um, 15 minutes of big rocks. Yep. Ooh, right. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Another Cuskiel? Oh, yeah, Cuskiel, yeah. you're right. Okay. It looks like we've seen some, okay. someone like you already. Wow, look at those boulders. Yeah, nice it's kind of cool how it nice how rock. it starts out so abruptly. Like we are now at the bottom of the seamount. Yeah. Boom. Here we are. Boom. Do we have flags? Can we plant a flag? That'd be kind of cool. If what? If we had flags to plant. Flags. Yeah. Yes. Unnamed seamount site two. Boom. Boom. Okay, we want a scoop. We have that. We have a scoop. That we do. And we can oh. just do a nice, efficient scoop and stick it in one of the side starboard bio boxes. All right. Um, scoop, scoop, Mike, can you please turn on the <laughs> lights on the porch? Yes. We can have a second. And Porch light coming on. Scoop. Prepare for brightness. I hear that, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> These levers on this chair. You need a degree just to work the chair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, 
vamos a sacar este seco who put this like this you did no yeah. I didn't. <laughs> There you go. Nice. Is this sample for the scientists ashore or for the geologists? Um, uh, it's for the scientists ashore. Okay. Get some pictures. With this the, is an interesting scoop handle. This is a new iteration. Also, if this is annoying with your the the manips you have on right now, you can grab the entire scoop. They were doing that last time sometimes. Ah, okay. Good to know. Oh, I see. Thank you for grab the whole top yeah, just grab the whole PVC. Yeah, just grab the whole thing. Alright, well, we'll see. If I struggle to scoop, then I'll do that. Oh, the uh, jaws, I mean, I guess, yeah. Let's see. we got some rocks. That's pretty yeah, good. That's perfect. Aww. Look at that. Scoop. Oh, bend my arm. Yeah, oh, you're just bending <laughs> all the way. You know it. To indexes. bend my arm <laughs> backwards. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Yeah, we did that a couple that times. A couple times. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. I like how you try. Are you doing it in one motion? Contortionist by night. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some rocks. <laughs> yeah, I think one more and we could call it good. Give, All it, right. a, give it a good sand shake. Yeah, just give it a second, let this clear, and I'll get another scoop of rocks if I can. Clops camera looks really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Mm -hmm. It takes great pictures. It's like it's like a weird ad. <laughs> you know, it's probably just like the smoke effect. Some good rocks over here. Oh yeah, we need to check the winch. We need to check the winch on, the, <laughs> on our next launch. What'd you say? Winch, wouldn't you say? What'd you say? <laughs> um, can you pen? Oh, hold on, I got it, I got it. So because of that mesh size, we're probably only collecting the rocks yeah. themselves, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks good. We can call it after that one. Okay. Just shake out the sand. Get some uh, Annalena action there. Okay. No. Where's the, uh... It's gonna go on the side, Yeah, so. I put it in F or something on starboard. Yep. Okay. You can bring the bio box out yep. whenever you're ready. Uh, 
that enough? Yes, I think that will be enough. So as we take those stam samples, what's typically left in the bag after we... Just those pebbly encrusted bits. Okay. Yeah, so it was actually interesting. The last ones that we cut open, were they looked different inside. So one of them was almost all crust. Oh, interesting. And then uh, one of the other ones actually was like full of interesting rock, actual good rock that might have had good bits in it don't know if it's going to fit. Yeah, how'd they do this last time? I think it will. Um, just got to be angled? Yeah, it's just got to be the right angled. Way. I'm going to give it a nudge. Like, because the handle looks different. They changed the handle. They shortened it so that it would fit. <laughs> huh. Looks like it's almost there. Oh. Uh, we need to pause this and then go straight up. Yeah, please. Sorry. We're getting oh. pretty uh, dangerously close. Yes, yeah, thank you. Um, is the boat still going forward? Uh, there we go. That should be enough. Okay, that's good enough. Ascend, ascend. Do we know if there's any plans in the future to do more dives with the Raman spectrometer? Uh, I don't know. Not organized currently on Nautilus, but I am sure that it will be back again on ROVs soon. Let's give a second for the pilots to readjust here. Okay. Oh, yeah, ascend quick. Look at that. Yeah, that is deep. Oh, God. That is a... It's a cliff. That's that is yeah. So that's a cliff. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this off. Okay. Can we go back to the other uh, view? Camera, please. Thank you. Ascend, ascend, descend. Ascending. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Just come up. If you think you're gonna hit, just come up. Mm. I am. Okay. Whoa, a little cuskill. Same one. I don't know, maybe. I will say, though, that is a shot. That is, yeah, that's a nice shot, actually. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll take that shot, as stressful as this moment is. Wow, that is so Whoa. steep. It is steep. We're out of danger. Uh, Adelante is back to 20 meters away from the cliff face. So okay. Okay. Unless there's a nasty overhang, which we would never be able to see anyway. What's Looks that? Looks like there's the a cool sponge. Yeah. I don't know if we feel comfortable looking at that. Yeah. As long as, um, yeah, Mike, just, just you keep going. Okay. It's bobbing it quite like a it, bit. It looks like it keeps kind of going. Okay. Sorry, not looking at that one. That's fine. I don't think I've uh, stopped swinging. That was kind of cool, though. We'll see more. There are already a bunch more there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, in this camera, you can see some cool stuff. You see, especially along the side, there were quite a few. Oh, we're about to come up to a bunch of sponges. Oh my gosh. Whoa, and it is very steep again. This is an incredible feature. Of course. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nine minutes left. Okay, so the sponges we have here, there's an Aspiscopulia, uh, which is a kind of ferraid sponge. Do we feel comfortable looking at this here? Um. It seems like maybe the cliff has yeah i'm coming straight up uh and then, yeah there's some time i think like a quick i think we've got some time like a um, quick i don't want to okay. i don't want to linger here for pull 20, it pull 20 it minutes, whenever you want um, oh yeah okay so now i think i'm swinging 
but it looks like, yeah, there's one living Aspidoscopulia. Is there any way to make it a little less we bright iris, on, yeah, yeah Herc? You can even go a little bit lower. Oh, wait, I can also, I think we also yeah. have the down cam on. Oh, uh, there you go, boom. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, that's better. Thank you, Panos. Um, there's a big Brazingid sea star on the right, too. That's pretty interesting. If we could just look at that quick, and then yeah. we can move on. Yeah. What's going on there? In fact, there's a couple of things oh, wrapped yeah. around each other. Yeah, it looks like there are a bunch of ophiroids on that dead stock, which was probably also once a... Oh, more it's sponges. Small. Down here. This is cool. Okay. What did you say that one to the right is? On the right, that is a Brazingid sea star. Mm. And they are um, lifting up their arms and they trap food from the water that way. And then bring it towards their mouths. A lot of good pictures for the clops. I know, I'm like loving this, very distracted taking these pictures. You have to manually focus all the time though, which is uh. kind of... All right, yeah, that's good. I know we have to move on. Yeah, I'm sorry. All good. I wonder if it's just like actually better or if it's just like novel because like we're used to not getting that angle. You know? I mean, the angle itself, having that angle is awesome, but it is also actually higher at resolution. And that's the camera setting on the porch of Her Hercules, right? Yeah. Is the, other one, is the other one working yet? The still cam? The other still cam? No. Nope. Don't know. Oh, it just froze. It's it did bad. just freeze, yeah. Oh, no. I could power cycle it if it needs you. Oh, oh, no, it's there back. There it goes. There it goes. Um... Yeah, can we look at those on the left there, spongy bits? Yeah. They look like giant boulders all stacked on top of each other. Yeah, so Rob definitely wants a rock from somewhere around here. I, I know that this is not a comfortable spot to stop, but when there is one, the next watch can do that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> seven minutes, you can get as many rocks as you want. <laughs> Would it be possible to zoom on any of yeah, the... Yeah, zoom in as much as you want, Panos. <laughs> That's right. Literally, just going to be like, can we, can we just get a rock? There's a big one up. Just, yeah, just get this big one. That's fine. As we prepare for our shift change, just a reminder that we are at 2,723 meters. Can we zoom out, please? Yeah. A small, isolated peak seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. Well, nice. Steve... We rock star watched you right up to the cool stuff. There's oh, this incredible rock oh, feature. <laughs> and you see that's a pillow Thank basalt, right? right? I can even see the little circle. Atlanta going offline. What are we you at? are going to have a great time taking what rock samples. At? And the sponges seem very cool. And uh, Tim Is has given cool? us this week, which I think this can actually be controlled by you, Nick. If you want, what is that? or by you, Steve. However, is a, it's is a rock? so it's just um, it just needs to be plugged into something, and then you pull up the Triclops camera, the still camera again spontaneously disconnected, and we do not know why it's doing that. But so on this, what is it right? Hey, one of three. One of three. Good. You wanna change the uh, the decay and B, the global. All good. Is this a thing? Well, took a scoop. It's fine. Oh, 
Okay. God. It's been better. Yeah. This is it, right? That's it? Is this it? You need a you literally need a degree to work this chair. How do you bring the armrest up? That but that's not a button. No. This thing? That's not a button. That's not a button either. There's no buttons. No, this is a button. That's not a button. No, it's not. Fine. Okay, video. Hi. There we go. We're on. So good. Good morning, everybody. We're back on SPL. This is now the four to eight crew. Just getting our shift change in. Oh. So this is Brittany, one of the science communication fellows speaking right now. We'll be with you until about 8 o'clock Hawaiian Standard Time. So currently we are uh, exploring an unnamed seamount, Site 2. And you can see there are a lot of rocks. I think Nick is going to be very happy about this. Yes. Our, expected, our expected max depth is uh, going to be about 9,114 feet, or about 2,778 meters. Yeah, and We're looking nice at running. about a 20-hour dive, and I think we're about four hours in. Hit some buttons on Bubble. I oh, sorry, that's not Bubble. Uh, I was looking at something that I thought would be Bubble. Uh, and it's not. It's actually the still cam. Uh, are we science? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, it looks like uh, we have the still cam up. Are you guys, are you guys thinking you're going to use that for stuff? Uh, yeah, we are going to um, use it uh, okay. periodically. But 
kind of opportunistically, and Sweet. we'll give you a heads up if we need to uh, get a better image of something in that. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, give me a heads up, and I'll s I'll switch the salvos around uh, so that I can see it. So, RV. Yes. Are you all settled out? Uh, are you? I if we're gonna do a zero seven zero move, I'll probably move in a different. I'll probably go somewhere else. Okay. Um, let's. Is uh, that the next thing? Let's find out what science wants to do. Okay. Science. Anything yeah. here you want to look at before we uh, move on? Yeah, we would like to sample some of these cracked pillow basalts. Um, what a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to toss that over to my colleague and friend here, Nick, to the left, and he's going to talk about uh, the perfect rock. <laughs> Welcome, Nick. Tell hey. us about the perfect rock. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's good to be back, finally, after a few days. Uh, we have a nice little pillow basalt field here. Um, a bunch of these are of, uh, really yeah, angular. angular rocks that we might be able to take a grab at and uh, do that throughout the dive. But, uh, yeah, like Steve highlighted here, this rock might be ideal to start off the day. See if we can make that happen. Okay, sorry, uh, point out the rock? Sorry? Uh, I was looking at the, I was looking at something else it's at the time. See okay. yeah. that one there? Yeah. Okay, can you put a bubble on the porch for me? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, cracked, what look like cracked uh, pillow lavas in this area that probably be good opp good opportunities. Uh, can you go full wide on Zeus, please? Okay. Provide a better chance of us getting basalt that's datable. <laughs> and uh, circle that rock again. I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, where are we at? Thanks, Steve. Uh, uh, I think it's just under the porch. Okay. Is it? Yeah, this one. Yeah, that's a nice rock. Oh, okay. That is a nice rock. great to be back diving with all of you. Um, if anybody is joining online, feel free to write in the chat if you have any questions or comments about what we're doing out here. Um, uh, we were okay. I think we're pretty stable. having cool. some uh, kind of not ideal weather conditions over the past few days, so we haven't been able to get a dive in uh, lately, but it feels really, really good to be doing this one. So again, we are diving near the Johnston Atoll region, one of the most remote atolls on Earth. Um, I think we're going to try and put this in the starboard box. Um, yeah. A, B, A, B, C, or D? Yeah, one of the smaller inserts. Do you think it'll, I think it'll manage, yeah? That's it. I have it all. Can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. from the, um, the other camera, I think. I think it's this rock here. Oh, no. it's a little nice. Bit outside. So, Moist. yeah, that's a nice chunk of pillow. Nice yeah. and angular. Yeah. Nice and angular. Nice nice do and a, a, like a half zoom and a little rotisserie. Okay, <laughs> slow, slow spin. A little sediment there. A nice little column shape on the top. Where's this one going? One more turn. That's all right. Okay, just whichever one it fits. Yeah, if it'll fit there, I think it should fit there. Yep. Did we? Yep. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> 